Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel again. Today we are leaving the Western Cape and we're off to the Northern Cape and specifically the Galagadi Transfrontier Park. On our way there we crossed the Orange River and it was in full flight. This was a beautiful sight. Tweedeferon campsite is just more than a thousand kilometers from Cape Town and 250 kilometers from Uppington. It is a tar road all the way from Cape Town up to Tweedeferon. Tweedeferon is the main camp of the Galagadi Park and is the camp that most people will use to enter the park. We picked a spot under a shady tree. Yes, yeah, shade is definitely a commodity. Each campsite has a tap of running water and if you book a power site there will be electricity point as well. There is also a braai on each campsite and you can buy firewood from the local shop. We had a light at our braai area and a rubbish bin on the campsite. The ablutions are more or less in the middle of the camp. The outside walls of all the buildings are covered in rocks. That was the idea of Dumpi. She is the wife of the previous head of the Galagadi Elias Lerish. There is a laundry area complete with a washing machine and a tumble dryer. There's also a place where you can do your ironing. In the kitchen area you can do your dishes and there is a microwave. The ablution area is neat and clean. There are flush toilets and toilet paper is provided. There is even a hand shower at one of the basins. There are showers with hot and cold water, there is space to sit and also ample space to hang your clothes and towels. At the gas station you will be able to fill up with petrol and diesel and you will be able to pump your tires. There is a big information center with a lot of information on the Galagadi. You will be able to learn a lot about the fauna and flora of the park and also the history of the park. On this board you can lock your sightings and also have a look what other people saw on that day in the park. You can enjoy meals in this restaurant with a beautiful view of the campsite. The shop is very well stocked with anything that you would need for your basic needs, alcohol, clothes and curios. Summer can be extremely hot here and then the pool is a welcome cool off area. Seeing that it is a game park you can go for game drives on your own. Be sure to check the gate times and close the gate after you entered or exited the campsite. You definitely won't be disappointed with the game viewing. Especially in summertime, the campsites with shade is quite popular. There are trees at most of the campsites, but some of the campsites also have gazebos that can provide you with shade. In winter time, it can become very cold here, and then maybe you don't want a campsite with shade.
At night time, the camp can become quite full and nothing beats sitting next to a fire at sunset in the Kalahari. Though sunrise can be just as beautiful in the Kalahari. This is really a beautiful campsite. It is well managed and well maintained and we always like staying at Twera Firin. Without exception, everybody working here was very helpful and friendly. Thank you again for watching our video. If you liked it, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. Please let us know what you would like to see in the future. Happy camping!